Welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here. This is like my intense glam, but it's really easy. Like it's intense, but it's easy. If that makes sense. I feel like this would be perfect for any upcoming holiday events that you may be going to. I know that those of you in the US do celebrate Thanksgiving and that's coming up pretty soon. Down here in Australia we don't do Thanksgiving. I just really wanted an excuse to do an intense glam makeup look. So if you're interested to see how I did this then keep on watching. Also if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also also, 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 if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, as usual today, I'm gonna to be starting things off with the face. So I'm gonna firstly prime with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. As I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed, my skin is kind of undergoing a little bit of healing right now. Basically, I decided to try something new on my skincare routine and my skin was just not having it. So that is the reason why I'm dealing with all of this scarring. But this primer really does help to even out your complexion and just give you a really nice smooth canvas to work with. So for foundation today, I'm gonna to be using this bad boy right here. I have not used this foundation for such a long time, but it was like a ride or die for me back in the day when it first came out. So as you can see, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. So I'm using the shade 22 Radiant Beige and I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and apply that with a dampened Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is definitely a drugstore foundation that I would recommend you guys to try. It's inexpensive, has really awesome coverage and just evens everything out and gives you the nicest finish. I'm yet to try the Pro Glow, but since I do have a really oily skin, I feel like the matte one is best suited for me. But yeah, if you guys have tried this, let me know what you think of it down below. It was honestly my favorite foundation back in the day. Honestly, the coverage of this foundation, like I forgot how good it was. Um, it is probably a little too light for you girl, but that's okay. Um, I'll fix it up with powder and stuff later on. But moving on to color correcting, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my trusty LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. As usual, this one is in the shade Peach Corrector and essentially I'm just gonna take a swipe to each under eye and then blend it in with a Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. This is just going to really help to counteract the darkness that I have going on in that area and brighten up the under eye a little more. So now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I have here Light Medium and Light Medium honey. I like to mix the two just to give myself that perfect shade that I'm looking for. But pretty much I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes and also highlight any other areas of the face that I want to highlight. So I just apply a little bit above my brows, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. And then as usual I'm just going to go ahead and go back in with the dampened Real Technique sponge and blend it all in. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly set that concealer in place. As usual, I'm using the Australis Ready, Set, Go Finishing Powder. I'm telling you guys, if you live in Australia and you have access to Australis products, this is like a must have. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face now. So as usual, I'll be using the Benefit Hello Flawless Press Powder. This one is in the shade Petal. Honestly, this is the only pressed powder that I like to use when it comes to setting my foundation. Because it does have a little bit of color to it, it kind of, you know, fixes everything up, especially considering the fact that this foundation shade is just a tad bit too light. I'm gonna finish off my face a little later, but for now, I'm gonna get started on the eyes. So I'm firstly going in with the NYX eyeshadow base in Skin Tone, and I'm using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. As usual, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out all over my lids, right up to the brows, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it in place with some more translucent setting powder. Alrighty, so for today's look, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Look how clean I've kept this, guys. She's looking pretty pristine, if I do say so myself. Anyways, onto what shadow I'm gonna go in with first. I think I wanna take the shadow 
golden ochre. I'm just gonna go ahead and run that through my crease. I'm using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. This is going to be my initial transitional crease shade. It's really not that much darker than my actual skin tone, but when you wanna have that nice blended crease, you gotta layer shadows. So I'm firstly starting off with this shade, which is a tinge darker than my skin tone, but it's really gonna help with the whole blending process later on. All right, so now that we've got that shadow all blended up in the crease, I'm gonna go into the next shadow that I wanna use, which is Raw Sienna. And I'm gonna be using the same brush again. So essentially I will be blending this in the exact same area, but I won't be blowing it out as far as I did with that golden ochre shade. As you can see, I'm just running it back and forth through the crease once again, all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye. And it is going to really help to define the crease a little more. And this is what I mean when I say you wanna layer shadows to kind of get that nice gradient effect within your crease. Next up, I'm gonna be taking the shade down the bottom here called Rialga. I, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Everybody says it differently, but I like to say it as I just poke myself in the chin with the brush. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, I like to say it as real guy. I feel like that sounds more exotic, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I'm going to go ahead and once more apply this to my crease, but keeping it more concentrated right in the depth of the crease. You know, just get it right in there because this is really going to help add that nice burnt orange look to the eye and also, once again, define the crease even more. At this point, I'm just gonna go back in and you know blend through the crease a little, especially on that top edge, just to make sure we've got that nice blend going on. So now is the fun part. I'm gonna be using some glitter today. I have here one of the Stila Glitter & Glow Magnificent Metals Glitters. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Oh, Magnificent Metals Glitter & Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So this one is in the shade Rose Gold Retro. It, Kind of looks more like orange toned to me, more than rose gold, but we're gonna put this on the eye. I'm going to be cutting the crease with this because as you can see, it's so easy to do. Just swipe it on and you're good to go. And the applicator makes it really easy to be precise with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lid, cut the crease with it and kind of taper it off on the outer corner of the eye. Oh my goodness, honestly guys, look at that. Is that not like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I'm talking about the glitter of gloves. No, but really, if you have not tried these liquid eyeshadows from Stila, they are bomb. Like, they are bomb.com and they are a must try. Like, they are so worth it. It's so easy to do glitter looks with these things right here. So, now that that is on the lid, it's kind of, you know, still drying, still doing its thing. But for my outer corner, I'm going to be going into the shade. Where is it? There she is, Cypress Umber. And I'm using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. So essentially I'm gonna apply this to the outer corner of my eyes and drag it in towards that glitter shadow. And this dark color on the outer corner is really going to help define the eye. I feel like this is the type of technique that I always go for is like apply a darker shade to the outer corner of my eye, blend it into the lid shade, and it just really helps to define the eye and I love how it looks. So. That is what I'm doing. So now that I've got that darker shadow on the outer corner, what I like to do is just go in and blend the top edge just to make sure it's nice and, you know, seamless, of course. Next up, I'm gonna go into my bottom lash line. I'm gonna take the shade Raw Sienna first, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm just running this along my bottom lash line and smoking it out. Then I'm just gonna go back into Cypress Umber and I'm going to run that along my bottom lash line once more. But you guys know the drill, I'm keeping it much closer to the lash line and this is really going to help define the eyes. Now I really feel like doing a winged liner today, so I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Those of you who watch me regularly would know this is like my go-to liner when it comes to creating a winged liner. I just love the finish that it gives because it's matte so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and attempt to give myself a wing on both eyes. I'm pretty rusty when it comes to doing winged liner just because I don't do it as often as I used to before, but your girl still, she still got it, kind of. <laughs> so now that that winged liner is done, I'm gonna go ahead and give my lashes a quick curl and a coat of mascara. I'll be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. You guys who watch me, 
regularly know that this is like my favorite mascara. I've officially found my favorite mascara and until I find something new, I feel like I will continue to repurchase this over and over again. Alrighty, so for falsies today, I'm gonna to be using a different pair that I've never tried before. So these are from the brand Dodo Lashes and apparently these are mink lashes, although they were really inexpensive. I'll leave a link to where you can get them in the description box. Um, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. I just, if you guys are keen on super inexpensive mink lashes, then check out the link below. But yeah, like they are so intense. Like you guys, these are really intense. I'm gonna have to trim these down a fair bit. But um, yeah, mink lashes from Dodo Lashes. As you can see, these are in the style D301. And they're super fluffy, which is like, I'm all about that fluffy lash type of vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these today. I'm using the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive, the black one. I feel like whenever I do a winged liner, I like to use a black eyelash adhesive just so everything is nice and seamless and easily concealed. So now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So we're gonna start off by contouring. I'm going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'll be taking this shade right down the bottom here. I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush. As usual, I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my jawline and my cheekbones with this brush. And then I'll be using the Look Good, Feel Better eyeshading brush to contour my nose. So to bronze up my face a little, I'm gonna go in with the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer. I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angles Contour Brush to run this bronzer over my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face, just to kind of even out my skin tone a little since it is still looking a little bit light from that foundation. And of course, to bronze my face up and give it a bit of life, if you know what I mean. I just realized that my necklace pendant is like all the way over here when it should be over here. Anyways, next up for blush, I'm going to be going into this one from Went Wild in the shade Rosé Champagne. As you can see, it is a peachy toned blush with gold shimmer throughout it, but not too intense. So that's why I wanted to use it today because it's kind of more on the neutral side with my skin tone. Alrighty, so now for my favorite part, which a lot of you guys know is a highlighter. I'm going into the ABH Glow Kit in collaboration with Nicole Guerrero. Let me just say the packaging of this like gets me every time. It's so pretty. Um, but I'm gonna be going into Glow Getter today. I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush. As usual, just gonna bathe my face in this cause you know how I be just going ham with the highlighter like constantly. Oh my goodness, I rhymed, yes. <laughs> so last but not least for the lips, I'm firstly going to line them with this Chi Chi Stay All Day Lip Liner in Centerfold. I will be going in with a nude liquid lipstick today. So I feel like whenever I do, it's always important to line my lips. My lipstick of choice today is one of these new ones from Australis. I know that this isn't readily available overseas, but for us here in Australia, if you have not checked these out, oh my goodness, you guys. So good, like the formula is insane. If you love liquid lipsticks, but you don't like the intense, dry, like suck the life out of your lips feeling that you get from them, check these out, because they are like a demi matte liquid lip, and oh my goodness, just so good. So this one is of course from Astralis in the shade Empower, and I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and apply that all over my lips. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. I'm obsessed. This is probably like a go-to Lizelle full glam makeup look, like glitter on the lids, intense big lashes, lots of highlighter, a nude lip. Like this could not be more me than what it is right now. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching, and you're not yet subscribed, I'm gonna give you some time to scroll down below and you know, just hit it, hit it real quick. And um, yeah, if you guys wanna follow me on any of my social media accounts, you can find all that good stuff down below as well. I will also list everything that I used throughout the video down in the description box too. So pretty much everything that you need to know is down below. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll talk to you in the comments, but I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.